Before we deal with the subject of Semiramis in India, we need to be familiar with the religion that she established in Babylon. It was the time when there was no separation between the state and the religion. She was into building great structures, boundaries and irrigational projects. And she needed money. Nimrod had already died and she had made him the sun god. And as for her, she called herself the mother goddess. In her temples, there were temple prostitutes who represented the goddess. Men who visited them were asked to pay a shekel for each visit. This generated the much needed money for her projects. Then she set out to build the Tower of Babel. According to historian Herodotus, it was a seven-storied structure built for the worship of fallen angels Marduk, his son Nebu, and Nimrod. God didn't like what was happening there. He confused the language of the people and scattered them. Even when the people spread it to other parts of the world, they still remembered Semiramis and worshipped her, only with different names because of the confusion of languages. Many a time these names were just a title pointing to her accomplishments or her attributes. In India, she came to be known as Kali, the Dark One, Elama, the one who made boundaries, Jagadamba, the mother of universe, Simavahini, the one who rides on the lion, and many more. Coming to speak of riding on the lion, Semiramis is associated with the lion in many parts of the world. Here is this old Sumerian depiction. Inanna is riding on the lion. This is Egyptian goddess Quedesh. This one is Rhea riding the lion. Here is Diana. This is Ashtoreth. This one is Britannia. Here is Sibylle riding on the lion. And this is Hindu goddess Durga riding the lion. These are all different forms of just one person. Semiramis. In southern India, there is a Semiramis temple known as Elama Temple at a place called Sandati, which is about 500 kilometers from Bangalore. This temple has temple prostitutes known as Devdasis even today. Even though the government of India has banned temple prostitution, it is still practiced here in a smaller scale. Here is a young Devdasi. She is dancing to Elamo's songs in a plaza. She is young and she is in demand. But things do change when you get old. Here is an old temple prostitute. She says that the older ones have no other choice but to sit at the steps of the temple and beg for money. Now, Elamo is known to be the wife of Hindu god Shiva. That begs a brand new question. If Elamo is Semiramis, could her consort, Shiva, be the Nimrod we read in the Bible? I have reasons to think so. Let me explain it to you in another segment. And now, thanks for watching.